Hybrid rice is a familiar concept to us. It refers to varieties of rice that are the result of crossing two genetically different rice varieties with complementary traits, resulting in increased rice production. Professor Yuan Longping, as the pioneer of hybrid rice research and development in China, has made great contributions that have helped many people around the world escape hunger. Although Professor Yuan passed away in 2021, his techniques and knowledge live on. However, despite the remarkable advancements in China's hybrid rice technology, some people are not satisfied and hope to develop even better quality hybrid rice. As a result, a new variety emerged in China through the hybridization of bamboo and rice, known as Zhudao or bamboo rice. Bamboo rice is the product of crossing bamboo and rice, which surprised many people. After all, bamboo and rice are completely different species with reproductive barriers. How is it possible for them to produce rice? How can this type of rice be consumed by humans? Well, regardless of the doubts you may have, this is indeed the result of the research conducted by Chinese rice experts. These seemingly unrelated plants have successfully combined and reproduced, and the taste is quite impressive. Okay, in today's video, let's take a close look at the bamboo rice. Bamboo rice, also known as Zhudao in Chinese, is a creation that originated in China. The father of bamboo rice is Zhong Zhangmei. He was seven years younger than Yuan Longping and, despite not having the same level of fame as Professor Yuan, he dedicated 40 years to researching the distant hybridization between bamboo and rice and achieved significant achievements. In 2015, at the Milan Expo in Italy, Chinese bamboo rice was selected as an exhibition item becoming the only high-quality rice from Guangdong province showcased at the expo. Furthermore, the high quality of bamboo rice is not just a marketing slogan used by Guangdong companies, it is based on real data obtained through careful analysis by Zhujiang University, Guangdong Institute of Microelement Research, and the Ministry of Agriculture Testing Center. Analysis shows that bamboo rice is rich in trace elements needed by the human body, such as calcium, selenium, copper, iron, zinc, and magnesium. It also contains a high amount of plant protein and amino acids. The heavy metal content is remarkably low, with only 0.062 mg per kilogram of rice, well below China's regulated limit of 0.2 mg. Moreover, due to the presence of bamboo genes in the rice, bamboo flavonoids with antioxidant and antibacterial properties are also present. This makes bamboo rice a natural antioxidant and anti-aging food. Furthermore, when cooked, Bamboo rice emits a pleasant bamboo fragrance, has a sticky texture without being greasy, and offers a refreshing and sweet taste. It is particularly delicious when used to make porridge. Compared to traditional rice, it does not turn yellow when left for an extended period, making it more suitable for fast food items like rice balls. Therefore, bamboo rice is considered a high-quality and premium health rice. Of course, its price is certainly not cheap. In China, regular rice ranges from 4 to 10 yuan per kilogram, while bamboo rice is sold at 40 yuan per kilogram. For ordinary Chinese people who eat rice every day, it may be considered a luxury. However, buying it occasionally to enhance the dining experience is still feasible. Although bamboo rice has many advantages, few people have witnessed how it was cultivated. Despite being around for over a decade, there are still skeptics who believe bamboo rice is a scam or a marketing gimmick to sell at high prices. Some even think it is genetically modified rice that is unsafe to consume. Reproductive isolation, even if not fully understood by everyone, is a natural regulation imposed by nature to ensure correct evolutionary paths for species and to prevent reproductive disasters. Breaking through reproductive isolation is a challenging task. In the animal kingdom, hybrids between different animal species often result in genetic defects in the offspring. Humans also prohibit close relatives from mating to ensure healthy offspring. Who would have thought that tall bamboo growing on the mountainside could combine with low-growing rice in the fields? An ordinary Chinese agronomist named Zhong Zhangmei came up with this innovative idea, which was far ahead of the agricultural world. After graduating from Meizhou Agricultural School in 1959, Zhong Zhangmei devoted himself to agricultural work, serving successively at the Agricultural Science Institute and the Agricultural Bureau. During his work, Zhong Zhangmei focused on studying the hybridization of bamboo and rice. Even after his retirement, he continued his efforts. 
The inspiration for this idea came to him while working at the Agricultural Science Institute in Haifeng County, observing the flowering, bamboo rice formation, and subsequent withering process of bamboo. He thought that bamboo possessed many excellent traits, and if it could be combined with rice, there might be surprising results. So he began experimenting, and it wasn't until 1971 that he obtained three seeds and sowed them. After the seedlings emerged, two plants died prematurely, leaving one that took over two years to grow to a height of 2.5 meters and produced 14 panicles. In the end, Zhong Zhangmei obtained a total of 136 seeds. Even after retirement and without any research funding, Zhong Zhangmei persisted in his research. It wasn't until 2007 that his paper on bamboo rice was recognized by the Meizhou Science and Technology Bureau. In summary, Zhong Zhangmei overcame numerous challenges in his bamboo rice research before achieving recognition for his final results. Bamboo rice is the result of the hybridization between rice and a species called Qingpi bamboo. Although they may not appear entirely similar, they both belong to the angiosperms, Magnoliopsida class, order Malvales, and family Malvaceae. Moreover, they share some genetic similarities, enabling them to combine successfully. The hybridization between Qingpi bamboo and rice is, in fact, easier to obtain than genetically modified rice. It is another form of hybrid rice. With the introduction of bamboo genes, bamboo rice no longer suffers from diseases like blast and bacterial leaf streak, and pest issues are significantly reduced. It requires minimal pesticide use and is considered pollution-free food. Furthermore, bamboo rice, like bamboo itself, has a well-developed root system and drought tolerance. It can survive for extended periods without irrigation, alleviating the burden of watering for farmers. However, bamboo rice also has its disadvantages. It requires a higher amount of fertilizers compared to regular rice due to its tall and sturdy stems, typically reaching a height of around 1.5 meters. Therefore, the planting of bamboo rice should not be too dense, and sufficient space must be provided. With its tall stature and large leaves, bamboo rice has a strong photosynthetic capacity, resulting in a higher starch synthesis rate than ordinary rice. The rice panicles of bamboo rice are also longer, and they produce a larger number of grains. Each panicle contains between 250 to 450 grains, making its yield per plant actually higher than that of current hybrid rice. Currently, the planting base of Guangdong Bamboo Rice Agricultural Technology Company, Limited, is located in Guangdong Province, but they accept franchise opportunities nationwide for the bamboo rice industry. Through trials in different provinces with varying soil conditions and further research conducted by other agricultural experts, the single-season yield of bamboo rice has continuously reached new heights. In 2021, Chinese breeding expert Lu Jibin led the experimental cultivation of multi-embryo twin bamboo rice in Sanya, achieving a yield of 1,113.9 kg per mu, a Chinese unit of land measurement, equivalent to approximately 666.7 square meters. This new variety's yield, which was verified by institutions such as the Rice Research Institute of Guangdong Academy of Agricultural Sciences and Hainan Academy of Agricultural Sciences, has surpassed the historical yield of hybrid rice in China. Multi-embryo twin bamboo rice also exhibits strong lodging resistance. In 2022, Guangdong was hit by typhoons and heavy rain, causing significant damage to early planted rice. However, this product remained largely unaffected. Although bamboo rice is still in the exploratory stage and has not been extensively cultivated, its advantages are evident. As bamboo rice continues to develop and its cultivation scale expands, the prices are bound to decrease. This will enable more and more ordinary people to enjoy delicious and nutritious rice meals. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.